What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is time again for yet another reaction. Today we're going to get into funny text messages part three. You are the first two. Let's see what this next one is and how funny it is. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up? I got a question. If time is money, then are ATM machines time machines? Smart. Never really looked at it that way, but they got a very good point. <laughs> Those are QTs, my name's Fainted, and today we're going to be taking a look at the funniest text messages ever. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's go. Also, please subscribe, and um, I'll give you a free cookie. 100% legit, bro. Message to my crush. What is the missing vowel? A, E, question mark, O, U. I. What is the opposite of hate? Love. What is the opposite of me? My boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> Which nation do you most identify uh -uh. with? Fire, earth, water, or air? Russia. I'm leaving. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. On God. Play Gmod, they said. It won't get weird, they said. <laughs> That's not a YouTube video. This is why you need a PC. Dude, it's freaking 11 o'clock. And it doesn't matter what time it is. You should be getting a PC just so you can play Gmod gameplay like this. The bloke <laughs> from the B movie really be vibing. Can we go to the gym tomorrow? Sure, Abby. <coughs> Baby. Oh boy, here we go. Over a typo. Also, how do parents punish a blind kid? Please stop messaging me. Who is asking these kind of questions? And over text message as well. <laughs> if you want to ask something like that, you should probably do it in a very deep, dark forest where the government isn't watching you. And don't do it over text message from boyfriend. Hey, we need to talk. One sec, I just got a package. Great. I mean, cool. Um, I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. Um, open the package. OMG, it's a diamond ring. It says... I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I want to be your husband. Marry me. Yes, I will. <laughs> I don't normally say this, but that's cringe. <laughs> Message from Bailey. <laughs> Brackets Tinder. Ooh. OMG, yeah, I can come over later. Sweet. You can pick the movie. Uh, how tall are you? Five foot seven. <laughs> Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. My friend is stuck at the airport and I have to go get her tonight. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, makes sense. Can we please pay some respects in the comments right now for the five seven kings? I like how we can complete each other's sentences. That's why ben. I need you. For ever. Ah. <laughs> you were so drunk, drunk last night. What? No, I wasn't. Dude, you ran up to this huge biker guy with a beard and shouted, Hagrid, you're real. Oh, smokes. What did he do? <laughs> Hugged you. Uh, that explains the faint scent of smoke on my jacket. A small price to pay for a hug. Ah, so this is how it's done these days. Might need to follow this tutorial. I could deal with one of those right now. How do I tell Chris I like him, though? These things are hard. You just did, Ellie. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That was to Jenna. Her name isn't even close to mine, though. Did you send this on purpose to me? Don't worry if you did. Maybe. Does that mean you like me, too? Mm. No. No. Ah. Uh, <laughs> revive. We need a revive on aisle three. Another revive. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lot of people getting shot down today. Mantis. Yes. Don't have SCX of it. It will eat you after. Good call. It was looking at me all seductive like. Yep. <laughs> That's how they get you. What? A mantis looking at you in a seductive manner. <laughs> now, this is a new Kung Fu Panda movie it's I haven't stupid. heard about. I love you. <laughs> What the frick? Sorry, I sneezed and hit the keyboard. I'm allergic to bull. Bruh. Oof. Oh. That burn is gonna leave a mark. Oh, ow. That was a cold burn right there. I just killed someone in the cafeteria, and I think someone saw me. What I tell them? Since when do you play Among Us? Um, what is Among Us? Oh, emergency. You're telling me this dude has just <laughs> killed someone in the cafeteria, and it wasn't in Among Us? Uh-oh. Hey, wanna go out with me? Yes? Say yes. No. Find my brother who's been missing for two and a half decades. Hey, found him in a dumpster. <laughs> Please. I just want a GF. <laughs> what? This dude thought he was being smart. 
he thought he was going to make it impossible for her to say no. But yeah, didn't go to plan. Somebody, Somebody please, please give this guy a girlfriend. He's desperate. Get Very your desperate. freaking stuff together and act like an adult. Um, I think you have the wrong number, but you're right. Who wants to be my girl? Read your name. <laughs> number, but you're right. Who wants <laughs> How you go off on somebody, say it to the wrong person, that person. Yeah, you take your advice. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. To be my girl. Read your name. <clears throat> Nobody. It's so sad. <laughs> Even getting rejected <laughs> on the Among Us game. That's painful. Wife on Damn. the phone with husband. I don't know what to do. It's so cold and the car doesn't turn on. And now the dashboard is showing a picture of a man taking a poop. Come quickly. <laughs> what? Can you send me a photo? Sure, here it goes. <laughs> the man taking a poop. <laughs> Minus four degrees. Wow. It actually does kind of look like somebody taking actually, a poop though. Now hold up. <laughs> It does. If it, especially uh, all hazy like that. It, why is that? That's the first place she went instead of thinking of a number first. <laughs> nice. Imagine her husband actually had to get up and uh, come take this massive journey to see her trying to fix this car. He looks at the dashboard and it just says minus four degrees. And he's like, really, babe, brought me out all this way for that. Thanks. I just sat on the toilet and farted for like five. Oh <laughs> uh, man, that was, that, that was the funniest. <clears throat> minutes straight. Thought I had to go, but literally just farted for the longest time. <laughs> Thought I should share that with you. Hashtag true love. I'm dying. Lol. No, this guy's probably dying after that absolute mess he created in the bathroom. Ooh. Wait, did he create? It is time. Wait, did he create a mess there? Um, what? Wait, wrong person. What the frick? <laughs> hey, how you doing, baby? Mm, don't call me that, please. Calm the frick down. I'm not mad. I just don't like getting called baby by anyone but my boyfriend. Cool story, bro. It's obviously a joke. Like, relax. Lol. Have fun with your imaginary boyfriend, though. Loser. Uh, well, they tried to send through that message, but I actually yeah. did get blocked. Ow. Wow. We can't see it. But we're all. Let's not vote randomly. Tell that to America. <laughs> message to dad. Hey, dad. Hi, son. Please tell me how I was born. Well, that's a long story, son. Then tell me in short. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Those emojis. <laughs> I love that sequence of emojis right there. Uh, That's hilarious. Uh, let's not pretend that any grown adult actually knows how to use emojis. It's not possible. They don't understand the technology. <laughs> what even am I looking at right now? We got a bunch of little gingies from Shrek, some milk, and the Cookie Monster. From me point of view, Jedi is evil. Don't make me eat you. <laughs> me have brought peace and cookie and freedom and justice to me new empire. Your new empire. This is not a crossover I was expecting, to be honest, at the start of this video. Cookie Monster, Star Wars, <laughs> and the gingerbread bloke from Shrek. Okay. That should be quite a good little uh, movie. If they could somehow spin off all of those together. A ganging <laughs> chair. Yes, ganging. XD. The perfect chair for ganging up on people. Exactly. Y'all better be careful. How does that even happen? I don't actually know, but it has happened to people before. The meat beats you. Some dude like did it 62 times and died. Ah, so the limit is 61. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> McDonald's Wi-Fi gap. Yeah. I'm gonna take it as McDonald's Wi-Fi gang. What's the McDonald's Wi-Fi actually like? Like, what are the speeds here in 500 gigabyte per second XDDD download? A moment of silence for our combined IQ of two and of chromosomes combined to six. X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X Y X I don't know science. I don't either. The chromosomes are the X's and the Y's, right? No. With the gender stuff, they are L M and A O. Lamal. Whoa! Look at that. It looks like the internet was right. There is a hot chick in my area. 
<laughs> well, this must be the first time in human existence where someone has seen one of his really dodgy ads being like, Oh, hey, there's hot chicks in a local area near you and they want to meet up. This guy's actually done it. He's found it. He's found the hot <laughs> chick. And it looks tasty. Available. Halloween cute inflatable polar bear doll costume. Bro, give me your address. Please tell me this dude isn't asking for this guy's address so he can send him the Halloween cute inflatable polar bear doll costume. That is weird. <laughs> if that turns up at your door, your wife's leaving you. Or if you don't have a wife and you live in your mom's basement, you're getting kicked out of the house. <laughs> Good this, would you perhaps like to have a nice chat with me? Hello. Uh, just stop with the miss, lol. Also married, so I'm not miss. Just trying to be nice. Also, I know you are married. No need to stuff it in my face. I said, good afternoon, not date me. Perhaps be less presumptuous. Just pointed out the fact that it would be Mrs. Just don't like the stuff. Like it's too formal and stuff. You were the type of female who just go for tall, blonde, blue-eyed white men. I would appreciate you, because I know how to treat Asian women. Once you get bored with you, he will dump you. Which I will never do. I would do anything to have Asian wife like you. Okay, that's creepy. What? This is probably the first time I've ever seen someone on Discord say that they're married. But like, who messages someone knowing that they're married being like, Hey, your husband's gonna dump you. <laughs> I'd never do that. I'd do anything to have you. Hey, are you still coming over to watch a movie later? Yeah, I can come over. Sweet. You picked the movie. How tall are you? 5 foot 11. Lol. Why? Nothing, just wondering. OMG, I forgot I have to take my dog to the vet tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 5'11? Okay, now this is an even bigger L, bro. <laughs> I didn't think 5'11 was small, man. Come on. It's called the hobo skillet. So, I don't know. It's like two inches away from my height, six feet. Maybe, is it the actual height or just the numbers? Like, the numbers are turned off? I don't know. You just say six feet, it's like, ooh, but then 5'11, eh? But there's like two inch difference. I don't know. I don't know the logic behind that. Somebody explain that one to me. Bacon, sausage, veggies, <clears throat> free eggs over easy, chorizo, and gravy. Everything but the gravy sounds bomb. Gravy is the best part. Yuck. It's so thick, too. Good luck keeping a boyfriend around. Am I missing something or is she saying, good luck keeping a boyfriend because you don't like gravy? <laughs> Okay. That's right, guys. If you think gravy is thick and yucky, your boyfriend's gonna leave you. Just be aware of that, okay? Yeah. No thanks. I don't even know why I said anything. Cause you're not even that pretty, anyways. You girls wanna complain about all your heartbreaks, but don't even wanna give nice guys a freaking chance. No wonder you're crying all the time. And then when you finally come to your senses, it's gonna be too late. I'll be living it up. I'm not even mad, to be honest. I'm totally cool. Honestly, I feel bad for you, because you're going to regret it. You think other guys are going to give you a chance? <laughs> Lol, whatever. Good luck with your life. That's definitely one way to handle getting rejected. Yep. <laughs> What's the odds this was some dude on like a PvP Minecraft server, managed to get the phone number of a random girl, texts her, hey, want to hang out? She says no, and then this happens. Hey, bro. Pretty much. Who is this? This is Johnny, Amy's boyfriend. Oh, word. What's up? I'm gonna be straight with you. I know you're her side piece and been seeing her. I'm cool with that. She happy? I'm happy. Because I'm freaking with someone else, too. So I was finna ask if you can chill with her on Saturday so I can take my other girl out. Baba boy. I got you. What time, though? <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. It's like, yep, your girlfriend's cheating on you. But it doesn't matter, because you got a side piece as well. And then you hit up your girlfriend's side piece being like, Yo, bro, do you, do you mind just taking her out, getting her off my hand so I can go out with my other piece? Thanks. That's some definite relationship problems right there. <laughs> Message from Crush. <laughs> All kinds X, of just... X. Hey. Hey, remember the, the up-sexy smell at school last Monday? The what? The up-sexy. What's up-sexy? Nothing much. You. <laughs> Flirt. What a champ. Anyways, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, click on the screen and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Much love. Peace. As always, those are always hilarious. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, till the next one. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here.